our chief executive officer at XM.com joins us on the phone line from Sydney. Peter, good having you. Thanks so much for joining in. Um, there's been a sudden drop uh, in crude prices from 85 uh, three weeks ago to about 76 for Brent uh, and sub-70 as well for NYMEX. What do you expect the near term to look like? Well, good morning. Thanks for inviting me on the show. A couple of things. First off, I think that we've all seen that massive sell-off. It's taken the market by surprise over the last couple of weeks. There was many analysts saying you could have seen you know, a $95 push, maybe even 100 But the issue came to play that there are geopolitical concerns and also we're seeing what Saudi Arabia has said, you know, they're going to pump and keep on pumping. And, you know, they're increasing the spigot. They're worried about those sanctions coming into place as far as Iran. And they're going to make whatever effort is due or possible to satisfy the market from a demand side. Um, I read your mail in the morning, Peter. Uh, the Iranian oil minister's comment notwithstanding, the fact that Saudi Arabia is saying that if there is a shortfall, they will go out and raise output and ensure that there is enough crude supply. Uh, uh, you know, this may be uh, political maneuvering at play here as well, but would all of this and the upcoming uh, midterm elections uh, in the U.S. ensure that crude prices don't go up even if they don't fall too much from these levels? Well, I mean, that's exactly right. There are so many moving parts. You've got the Khashoggi issue we're all very much aware of and Turkey's involvement there and what they're trying to, um, you know, get to the bottom of. You've got President Trump and you've got the midterms and take on board that. He naturally wants to see and he's pressured OPEC all the way through to say, we want cheaper crude, we want cheaper crude. Now it's coming to play. Also, we're only about six weeks out from the December 6th meeting in Vienna, the 175th OPEC meeting. So at the present, I'm, I think there's probably further downside. There's certainly an uneasiness, pardon me, an uneasiness as far as equity markets. And there seems to be that very, very solid push. And, and that's going to be you know, ever-present to map through anything that Iran is, gets dished out. We're going to make it up. And that's what Saudi's whole involvement is. And you know, they're taking a big boy approach to satisfy the market. No, just one final question, Peter. I know it's very difficult to put a uh, uh, guess as to what will happen one month down the line, but I heard you mention that you believe there's further downside. What do you expect in the near term? From 76 odd right now to a barrel, do you reckon there is a higher probability of we seeing 70 before 80? I, I would say so. I think there's m more momentum to the downside. It'll bounce. There's no doubting that. We've all been around long enough to know you'll see a whipsaw out of this market over the next probably week. It may even bounce Friday. But it'll only bounce a couple of percent up, and then I think there's further downdraft because Saudis are very... They're, they're, they will play the game with Russia. They'll meet any expectation that the market has as far as what the shortfall. And if they're coming out there, I notice the oil minister saying that, quite simply, we are going to do whatever's needed, and that's going to have an impact to the market to the downside. So I think 70 is a lot closer to C than 80. Peter, uh, good having you. Thanks much for taking the time out and joining us and giving us that perspective.